Mike Rinder and Paul Haggis and Leah Remedy all know it's an invention. It's all an act. But it's okay in Vanity Land because the master script writer, um, you know, gets to write his own script. And then, you know, Haggis gives the same false narrative, and I've been through this, you know, in the Going Clear series um, about how he started this investigation the inv because somebody lied to him and he wanted to find out what else was a lie, and he went into a big invest. He did didn't happen, made it up. I was his investigation. And then, you know, he repeats the lie that I've already exposed. He said he told the Scientologists, I don't do quietly, right? And, of course, it was his intention to do it quietly and shoot from the weeds like a spineless coward, right? Which is exactly what he did. And he worked, and I've got documentary evidence which I've already sh shared with the world. He spent nine months playing games from the weeds in which he asked me in writing, to make nine separate misrepresentations to, to to different members of the media in order to create a false premise and a false... You wanted me to create false identities? To lie to the media about false identities who were telling me things about Paul Haggis? So he could orchestrate this whole rollout of him effectively shooting from the weeds. And even when he did come out, when the issue was finally was 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 finally public that he was out um he feigned ignorance as to how that came about to the church and yet he's sitting up there like john wayne i don't he's telling him i don't do quietly yeah you do again he says <laughs> again I mean, he says this again. I already did. It. I already posted a video on this. Not only a video, but the document that proves it. And they have him on here. Oh, actually, they may have played this, and then I posted the document. But still, I already posted two videos talking about how this Paul Haggis is lying through his teeth when he says that Marty Rathman asked me for permission to post my resignation letter on his blog. I mean, I've been through this. Didn't happen. And I posted a video that spelled out what did happen, okay? He came to me. He was, he, he didn't just, out, I didn't just out of the blue come up and ask him. He asked me to do it, okay? And then he asked me to ask him so he would have proof in case the church asked because he intended to do this all quietly. And it was a big mistake, all right? I already posted this video to which he's responded to. And called me all sorts of names about what I've said in my videos, right? And the guy still went on air. This is how arrogant these putzes are. And repeated the same lie again. You know, I don't think it was even then. I don't even think then I posted the, posted the document that proved it. Proved my version of the story. I think he then, whiny little bitch that he is, started attacking me on one of these blogs. On this, this back page, Tony the Child Trafficker on his blog and and just said Peyton lies about me so I posted the document and then he attacked me for posting the document to put the truth I mean and he, this guy's the big you know crusader who lit the spark who opened the freedom of information right for free communication and transparency and the guy's out there waging a battle with me as this this series is rolling out and playing and he's trying to suppress my Disclosing the facts of the matter. Hypocrisy doesn't get any darker than that. And now, with Paul's imprimatur having denigrated all of Scientology in the false ways that he has, so that they're now fair game, Leah feels perfectly comfortable to start sp spitting out some of the most vile stuff. And But you kind of get the depression from watching this that this guy, because they've called him, they called him a hero at the beginning, a fighter and all this kind of stuff, right? Facing all this terrible odds. And he never states that Scientology did a single blessed thing to him. Even though you're going to get the impression that they did all these nefarious things, he never says that. That's John Wayne, uh, Paul Haggis. Damn them.
Now he's Charlton Heston at the, at the Sermon of the Mount, right? Damn them. He's going to damn people. He says, Paul Haggis, you can have a rapist there. You can have a child molester there. That's okay. If they're Scientologists, they did not commit a crime. Name one child molester. He's not going to. Because Scientology, we've gotten to this point where he's denigrated it so much through his false narrative that you can say whatever you want to and get away with it. You can have a rapist there. You can have a child molester there. You know, there's, a, there's no place that I know of in my 60 years that's less safe for a rapist or a child molester than the church side. On the latter, maybe a prison might be less safe, but I can't think of a place that's less safe for a rapist or a child molester. This is how, how flipped they've done this whole thing.